Well, happy January 1. I'm so excited that you guys are all here. We're going to start with a word of prayer and then we're going to jump right in because my goal is in and out um, efficiently because you guys have stuff going on. Um, and sometimes to me, short bursts of things um, work even better than a long drawn out things. So dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for our time together. We thank you for a new year. We thank you that every day we get a fresh start. And I just especially want to thank you that you are a God of more than we can imagine. Um, it keeps coming back to me in so many ways and your greatness and your provision for us and your love and grace for us just keep popping up that I just can't help but want to make sure other people hear it as well. So Lord, guide my thoughts, guide my words that people hear your heart. We ask this in Jesus name. Amen. So thank you guys. I'm so excited. Um, we had a really good month. Um, I, I would have to say, as I was looking at the month, I was very surprised um, because with Christmas and things like that, the reality is most of us worked about half the month, um, just for the time we had holidays and all that kind of stuff. And for a half a month, we did amazing. That's what I'm going to claim for us all to be a part of is that for our half a month, we did totally fabulous. Um, but in my career, oh, because this is my 15th Christmas now, the Christmases that it feels like things have landed, um, it takes some mo to get, get our businesses and our energy re-going up. Can I get an amen from anybody else about any other part of life besides Mary Kay? That you know, when things stop, that it takes more energy to get stuff moving amen. back. Amen. Okay, yes. Yeah. Heather, welcome. Um, and so for some of us, we have had Christmas, New Year's, all of that. And we just haven't been in the pattern of necessarily working our Mary Kay business, even to the extent that we thought we were planning on working it. So part of what this creating your 2024, one, as you work your way through it, I hope that you're looking at this as more than just your Mary Kay business, because if it's more, if it, this sheet is just Mary Kay, when Mary Kay doesn't go the way you want it to, your efforts could be like, well, then this doesn't matter. I don't need to keep focusing back on this. But I also know that when we're laser focused on life, and Mary Kay is part of the driving reasons that help make things happen, things just keep happening. So um, as you are working your way through this sheet, what I just encourage you to do um, is that one, give yourself 15, 20 minutes to just work the sheet. Sit down, work your way through it. I would love for you to post um, in the Facebook group, a minimum, what is your word? For the year and why and so just to let you guys know my word is back um it is maven m-a-v-e-n um it was a word that was given to me and it was like okay great this is one of those words i get to go look up in the dictionary and i have no clue what a maven is so you guys are probably more um i'm really good with math english isn't my forte so this comes where the other people know what the word is but a maven is somebody that is focused and can become an expert at something. And it's like, ooh, that sounds like fun. I, I think that sounds like a, a fun word um, that it was like, okay, God, I, I, I think I can claim that. I don't know that I would exactly call myself a maven in lots of categories, but I am willing to be faithful and live out this mavenness um, in, um, in my life. So that's my word. Hello, Miss Haley. My word is maven. So I am going to challenge each of you. Um, I will post it out in the Facebook group as well. But you may share any parts of this sheet that you work your way through. But I am asking specifically your word of the year. What is your focus word? What is your word? Everybody, um, I'm going to harp on that for a little while. Um, what is your word? What is your word? What is your word? And yes, to let you know when I get your word, um, I don't know if you guys know, in my phone, I have your consultant numbers, okay? Why do I do that? Because sometimes, especially early in the process, you guys go, I don't remember my consultant number. So this way I don't have to go to InTouch, your consultant numbers in my phone, 
okay? So behind your consultant number is going your word. So when you, when I text you, when you call me, I get to see your focus word and get to add that as a prayer focus of the way that I'm going to be working and praying with you um, for your word. So I look very, very, very fo forward um, to hearing your word for the year. So uh, a little bit of training that I want to go on. Um, I want you to look around your room, whatever your setting is. Okay. Look around your setting, look around your room. And I want you to look and see everything that is black. Okay. Look around your room, focus and see all the different things that are black. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you a count of three. Everybody's getting things that are black. Okay. Now close your eyes. Tell me something in your room that is pink. You're going to open your eyes. How many of you, your brain went, what? You told me black. And now you asked me pink. Well, that is what happens so many times when we start a new year, we start things, we are so laser focused in on one thing that we can miss everything that happens in another way. What, um, what they call it um, is, I don't know if you guys have ever like bought a new car or started looking at like a new dress or something like that, then all of a sudden everybody has the same thing. Well, what it is, is that our brain once we put it into focus, that's what we start seeing. So I want us to, I want, I want to give a huge shout out to Haley. She got laser focus and that she said she was going to finish the month as a red jacket. Um, let's give her a big pom pom and shouts and cheers because we do have a red jacket on screen. Let's hear it for Haley and her team. They are officially red jackets. You know, it was one of those things. She put her focus in and it absolutely happened. Okay, so um, as we do this, what are things that we can do to help our brain focus? That's one of the reasons I'm encouraging to, to have a word that when world, when the life wants to distract you, ooh, my word for the, like I said, my word for the year is maven. Ooh, God calls me to be an expert. Ooh, God's calling me to be an expert in my field. Would an expert in my field be scrolling through Facebook right now? Would an expert in the field um, be not making phone calls? Would an expert in the field be too scared to talk to that lady at the store because she looks, she looks like a sharp person that I would like to get to know? And so that is part of it. Um, on a piece of paper or on your phone, whatever works for you, what are three characteristics that you are looking for when looking for a customer or a teammate? What are three characteristics you are looking for when you're looking for a customer or a teammate? I'll give you a couple seconds and then I'm gonna ask that you unmute and shout out some answers. Volunteer or be drafted. Okay, Haley, Miss New Red Jacket, we're going to pick on you first. What is at least one characteristic you're looking for for either in a new new consult, new customer or a new consultant? What is one thing you're looking for? I'm trying to think of the third one. I have two, but one of them is kind. Okay. And what goes along with that is like willing to express themselves and how they're feeling about what we're doing. Okay. Even if it makes me uncomfortable, and I think them often... And I think that helps. I say, thank you for telling me how you feel. Okay. Excellent. So just being accepting on my end. So one of my things for me to get people is to be accepting of where they're at. Awesome. Love that. Okay. Miss Heather, what's one or two things you are looking for in a new customer or a new consultant? Motivated. Motivated. I like that. Okay. Christy. consistent 
What? Consistent. Consistent. Okay, great. And Candy. Um, loyalty. Loyalty. Okay. Okay. Looking at your words that you gave or that we borrowed because of Mary Kay, we truly believe that once somebody else has an idea, we just have more ideas. Um, what would those characteristics look like out in public? What would loyalty, what would consistent, what would motivated, what would kind, what would accepting look like? What would they look like? How would we notice them out and about? Anybody want to give a idea of how we might find them? Um, someone being accepting, um, you would notice that by the way they are and even kind. You would notice that in the way they interact with people. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're probably... <laughs> I'm sorry, Haley. I was going to say, yeah, it's about communicating with them and talking to them first or them just talking to them. They're, they're probably not rude and rough in their language. Right. And in their demeanor. Does that make sense? Right. Is that what is that? Am I hearing what you right. guys are well, Haley and, and Candy? Am I hearing what you guys are saying? Yes. Okay. Okay. How else, how else would we see consistency? Um, Heather, I loved your word motivated. How would we, how would we notice motivated um, out in public? It's just how they are with um, the people that they are interacting with. Can you help us what that might look like? Well, if they're out shopping for Christmas, for example, and they're with their children, you okay. know, you can observe them by seeing exactly what they're doing, how they're interacting with their kids to get the um, the thing that they're there to purchase. Got it. So a motivated person, um, while they're out and about, um, they're more likely to be carrying themselves that they're staring in their phone. No, right? No. <laughs> um, they're probably looking up, smiling, um, seeing what their atmosphere is around them. Does that make sense, right? Make sense? Okay, so like, can you tell um, somebody like when they're walking in presence, you know somebody that has confidence. They walk with their shoulders back, they have their head up, they notice the space that they're in. Does that make sense? Um, Serenity, we are talking about what it, what, what characteristics are we looking for in our next customers and our next consultants? And we're saying that we, we the list that we came up with so far is that people are kind, they have, they, they know that they have feelings and, and we are comfortable or we interact with them to, to know their feelings, they're motivated, they're consistent, and they're loyal. Okay, so if you have other ideas, of course, throw that. But now it's kind of digging in. What does that look like when they're out and about? What does motivated? What does loyal look like? Because, um, you know, I loved how Heather, when I asked her, I go, so what does consistent look like? Well, you just know. And it's like, well, true. <laughs> but let's dig down a little bit and actually say, what does, what does uh, motivated look like? Um, because... One of the reasons I want us to think about this, um, one, of this, one of the trainings I had a chance to listen to, they had a training weekend and the only people that were in, well, the people that were invited, they could bring three, um, two, two friends with them. Okay, so the person that, the only people that were invited were sales directors that have done a million dollars in sales at least once in their career. And then they could bring two friends with them. Okay, so... Okay. Do you think this would be a powerful gathering? Yeah. Okay. Um, so one of the trainings that came out of there, the person was talking about when Mary Kay started, what was she looking for in her first hundred beauty consultants? And the word that was used that Mary Kay used 
is I am looking for the hundred most prestigious people to help make this dream come alive. Is anybody else when you hear that go, okay, does any, did anybody else feel that? Or was that just me being weird and the end of the year and my birthday and all of that? Someone come, someone give me a thumbs up. Say it wasn't just me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Serenity. Um, because I, I will be honest. I love all of you guys and you guys are amazing, but I will have to say the good Lord dropped you in my lap. Even though I didn't say in the back of my head, I'm looking for the hundred most prestigious people to be on my team. You guys are amazing. Don't get me wrong that I'm not trying to say anywhere that you're not prestigious and awesome, but it's by the pure act of God that I got an awesome and amazing people like you. But let's also be real. How many people are on the screen right now? Five. You guys do realize that we are at 96 people that are in the Star Catchers team. Okay, so if there's five on the screen, that means 95. Okay, we do got a couple sick, we'll deal with that. But there's quite a few people that are actually on our teams and I did it as well, that came to help me check a box. That I more or less begged them into buying a $35 starter kit so they could get their products at a discount. And do you know what was really annoying about that? Well, it's not annoying. I didn't give them the dream. And what's kind of sad in my opinion, for I don't know about you, but when I take inventory of how many Mary Kay products I use, Anybody else take an inventory of how many Mary Kay products you use? There's sometimes I sit back and laugh in my head. It's like, how can you not do 450 retail every quarter? I, 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 I use way more than that. I use way more than that. And I don't even have to add my family to help me. I, 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 I got that covered. By the time I throw in that, the, the repair set. And then of course I get to play in retinol and those boosters. Hello. And I keep trying to tighten everything from the neck down as well. I'm just saying. Um, but in my mind, I, I sit back and it's like, have I sold the dream to understand how profitable this business can be? Because think about it. If Mary Kay did not sell the dream, would we be having this conversation? This business is now 60 years old. Um, I'm going to quick jump through this and we're going to come back to some more training on this. They say that there's three generations of, of people in business. It's not necessarily based on when you join the business, but it is way more based on your mentality towards the business. Okay. Generation one, owners. They are overcomers, they are disruptors, they start low, finish high, they see more, they care deeper, they will figure it out. Those are owners, okay, generation one. Generation two are protectors. They respect the history. They, they want to preserve and protect because they know how far people have come. They are afraid to lose. And so they are playing scared. Gen three are sometimes called the squanderers. They have the benefit of starting on third base, but don't know the work that it took to get them there and can take advantage of the situation. Okay, so obviously there, anybody else besides me on occasions, I'm guilty of all three of those. If, can I get an amen from somebody? Okay, but if we wanna grow our business, which, okay, let's be obvious. If we wanna grow our business, which one do we need to avoid? <laughs> okay, but do you understand we really have inherited so much that we really should be taking advantage of starting on third base. 
do you know that when I started, and I'm not even been in Mary Kay that long, there wasn't a thing called a flip chart. You just had to figure the class out. There was a season of no flip chart. Do you know that there was no apps and you only could write the sales slips? You could only see people in person. Okay, so we have all these other bonus advantages. Are we taking advantage of starting on third base or are we squandering the head start that we've been given? Um, a couple ideas, at least these are things that struck me that I'm working to help myself focus. Um, how many of you guys know about the $1,000 page? Anybody know about the $1,000 page? Heather, do you remember when we were over with Miss LaFrida? Yes. Okay. Do you remember getting the $1,000 page there? It's okay if you don't. It's just a question. And um, with the $10 or the $100 slots? Yep. So it is a block. So I will be posting it. It is a block of 10 by 10s. And each block has a $10 number in it. And you get to track yourself to selling $1,000. So when you sell satin lips at $22, you get to color in two blocks. Does that make sense? The goal, because part of it is, is our mind, attract number grows and change. The goal is, hey, this might be the first month you do $1,000 in a month. For some of you, your goal is, I want to do $1,000 a week. I want to do $2,000 a week. However many, that's how many of these sheets you're going to copy off and put in front of you. Does that make sense? And we're going to date them because you know what? This week we might get it. This week we might not. But next week we're going to start again. Does that make sense? We're going to see how far. Unless your sheet is $1,000 for the month, well, then we get to start it and we'll start another one in February. Uh, but so you're going to be letting me know your word in the Facebook group. Serenity, I think you saw the sheet. The bottom is your word and we're posting the words in the Facebook group. Um, and then um, privately, unless you guys want to tell each other, which I love it that you guys help hold each other accountable and egg each other on, but that's your call. As your director, I'm not going to force you to do that, okay? I think people play better when other people play and annoy them, but that's just me. Um, so, but I do want to know what the number is. Is this the, for January? Are you doing one $1,000 sheet? Are you doing $6,000? I just want to know your number because once again, I'm going to be praying over your, um, your word and, and your activity because, you know, we can set the goal for $6,000 or $8,000. But if we don't ever pick up the phone or we don't go out and find and go out and look for these hundred prestigious women, what's the odds of any of those things being colored in? Okay, business doesn't just, you are learning a new skill. So Renee, I'm gonna pick on you with Bonnie, okay? Bonnie, is not going to learn how to walk. She is not going to learn how to talk if she doesn't practice. Guess what? At first, she falls on her butt a lot and we can't understand the thing she's saying. Am I close? Yeah. And guess what? As we age, Candy, as your boys age, guess what? They don't tend to fall over now as much, do they? But they don't have to wear diapers anymore, right? Because they, they're big, okay? That that is just part of the growth. Heather, when you first started your job, it was so struck because you were trying to learn a new system. Well, guess what? There's part of it that's still stressful, but there's still part of it that's very automatic. First year teacher, Haley, oh my God. Yes. Second year is still stressful, but at least you survived the first year and now at least you have a pattern to work off of. So yes, learning our Mary Kay business is actually work. Um where I'm going to back up and say, 
um, Serenity, Haley, and Heather, I know for a fact that you guys are registered for this hit Saturday. Um, Candy, I don't know if you're, if you're registered or not. Um, I would love to see all you guys in Denton. Just because um, I'm going to pick on Haley and Serenity, I remember getting to the Barbie retreat. There was an on again, off again. Yay! Um, and when you guys came home, it was like, oh, it was so worth it. It was so worth it. It was so worth it. It took everything on our empathy to get our heinies there. This is another one of those that I know the people who are training. I know what this experience is like. No, it's not multiple days. No, you're not sleeping overnight someplace, but it is worth of all possible to get there. Haley, I'm also very excited. We get to celebrate you as a new red jacket there. So get to be a part of that. Um, so I would love to see you guys there, if at all possible. If not, well, in addition to doing that, Haley and Heather, you guys were with me last year um, at this time. We did a thing called Boss Babes. Um, we will be doing this with Julia. Um, it's going to be a segmented um, focus session. So our trainings on these nights are going to be trainings based on a national speaking to us. And then we talk through the session. Does that make sense? So we will get a topic and then we're going to discuss it live. Um, yes, once again, we'll record parts of it, but I will tell you, those of you who are live, get more out of it. Oh, well, sorry, Haley, I just assumed you were with me for forever. That's right. You didn't come in until later than that. You'll love it. <laughs> Heather was with me. Um, it is one of those things because you're hearing, you're hearing their stories, um, of overcoming. You're hearing their stories of, Hey, they just didn't start Mary Kay and the next year they sold a million dollars. Or they didn't start Mary Kay one day and the next day they were driving a pink Cadillac. Or they didn't start Mary Kay and the next day they had 95 people on their team. They also had their career path that were up. And they're talking about that getting up part. And so I have, I just find it to be very, very helpful. So we will be doing that as well. Um, but uh, Saturday, um, those of you driving up there, um, it starts at nine. I would be there early. There will, um, there will be raffles. So I would consider throwing some cash in your pocket because some of those prizes you might definitely want to have at your house um, to be a part of it. Dress code, um, I sent it out, black bottoms, and then based on your career path, what color accentuates the top, okay? So the black pants. So they're, when they're going black pants, but we are not wearing black leggings, not gym leggings, people. We are not wearing black leggings, gym, gym leggings. We, um, we are, the, the comment that was made was sharp black pants. There, I wanna hear, I, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating, I cannot wait to see what people are, are putting up for sharp dress pants. Um, our, on Wednesday and Thursday nights, we have virtual events. Does it matter what color top I wear? You, um, as consultants, yes. I believe you're, you're some shade of pink, I believe is yours, but one moment, please. It is in the kickoff one, da, da, da. Yes, you are Serenity and Heather, you are some form of pink. Haley, you are some form of red. And bless my heart, I get animal print. Start praying for that whole concept. Have you guys ever seen me in animal print? I just want to point that out. Have you ever seen me in animal print? Yes. Some of you guys I've seen and you guys rock it. So we're going to figure out how Mary can rock animal print. I was like, this should be good. This should be awesome. I can't wait. So just for the record, we all get to stretch and grow. Stretch and grow. Um, so um, Wednesday nights, a Wednesday night event this week. Um, oh, oh, I know what I want to tell you guys, because I want to also get, get you off. This week, this month on, I had it and then I just lost it. Sorry. On. Oops. 
Mark your calendars for Wednesday, January 17th. Put a big old X, put a heart, put something like it's going to freeze over before you are not on Wednesday night, January 17th at 8 p.m. Central. Okay. Now, would you like me to tell you why I made you do that? Nod your head. Okay. This is what your director buddies are doing for you. We're calling it Consultant Soar into 2024. Wednesday, January 17th, join us for a fun virtual training on building a selling inventory, opening and closing your skincare classes, tips for successful parties in the new years, how to put a loaded bag together. We will be doing consultant uh, drawings and giving away Kate Spade items to the consultants. Yes, we're bribing you. I figured you'd like that concept. Yes. Did we, did I look way into something that my unit loves? Yes. Put a heart 8 PM on the 17th. It is. Yes, it is drawings. It is trainings for you all. We are doing it together. We are because what my fault with this whole idea, what I'm trying to do is help find ways that what we do, because a general light bulb shining above us isn't going to hurt anything, but a laser light can cut through anything. I don't want our businesses to be taking up 24, 366 for us in 2024. Okay, we have a whole extra day in, in 2024. I don't need us spending 24 hours a day working our business. I never have. And my business is still very profitable. But I will tell you, my business always is more profitable when I laser focus. When I know who I'm looking for. When I know, hey, to find this person, I probably need to meet six to eight people. And I probably need to contact some of these people eight to 10 times before their schedule is going to let me know that they're available. I'm going to need to book six to eight appointments per week to have three to four of them per week hold. My party average is different when I have one to two than when I have seven to eight at the event. I want my, on here, what did it say? How, how did it work? What, what about your work are you most committed to changing and improving in 2024? I want my unit to feel the profit I make. I want you guys to know what it's like to have commission checks with commas. I want you to have sale weeks that have commas in them. I want you to have customers in the hundreds because you know what? When you have teammates making money, when you have customers loving products and buying thousands of dollars from you in a year, it makes this job very, it makes it more enjoyable because then when the annoying things like people, I'm already the Mary Kay, whatever. It just doesn't bother you the same because in the back of your mind, you can think, well, just wrinkle. That is fine. So I hope um, this has been helpful. Let me click end the train. Let me click end the piece of the stuff.